Alright, well, RGB is a colossal pain in the ass, but, so I got this cable mod fucking UV kit. This fucking thing doesn't work. You're supposed to connect it to SATA, plug this piece of shit into here, but it doesn't work. This right here is just a hard drive tester. I use it for data recovery stuff at work. But here, here, let's just plug this bitch in. I need the SATA connector. Molex is a 12 volt connector. SATA is also a 12 volt connector. So there's no problems here. But let's get the bitch plugged in. This it's worse. It's worse than putting in a USB. There we go. It's in. There's no real kinks in it. This thing is brand fucking new. Here's the four pin connector, and it came bent. It came bent like hell. But I strained it as best as I could. Let's put the bitch in. And if you can see the light, this thing's powered on. It's sending out. It's sending out proper voltage and everything. Nothing. Doesn't work. Absolutely nothing. So, what am I to do? Micro Center closes an hour after I leave work and they open an hour after I'm supposed to be at work. So, I can't just go back unless I call my boss for another rain check. So, what the fuck do you do? Well, the Cooler Master RGB cooler that I bought, I plug this bitch into the motherboard, but it also comes with a controller. This fucking thing right here. You can use this on black light strips. Black light, and the best part is, it's not just a solid light anymore. You can actually kind of control it with this piece of shit now, which is the big downside of this. I really wanted to be able to plug this to my motherboard and get, get some effects going. Uh, fucking, they weren't with it. It's a, male, it's a male header, though. It's a male header. The problem is, it'll work. Yeah, it'll work, but here's the thing. I wanna, if I'm gonna have this remote, I want to be able to at least like stick it out the back. It's not going to be pleasant, but I'm not putting an exhaust fan. I don't I don't really give a shit. So I can at least get it out of here and like feel around, feel around for these things and at least at the very least get something going here. All right. All right. So It also comes with this uh extender right here and these extra male-to-male -male adapters if you really need them there's not a lot of female adapters though which fucking sucks this is just big enough to fit from here like that again not not a pleasant solution because you're gonna see it sticking out sticking up this way this way and you're not I'm not gonna be able to hide the cable gonna make fucking compromises here and there's not a lot of documentation on on all the f stupid fuck shit you have to do with RGB connectors UV connectors there's just people showing off a build not showing the pain in the ass parts like oh no uh, sometimes these fucking 99% of the time actually these things are pieces of fucking shit and don't work and they don't tell you oh by the way the pinouts are simple here's how they work Here's what you can do to compromise. So, you want strong tweezers. First first things first, wiggle it around. Make sure that you can actually pull it out. But, again, most of the time you can pull them out, depending on your controller. Uh, they, motherfuckers planned for this, but never put it in the instructions. You gotta guesstimate this shit. You want strong tweezers. Get some strong tweezers. And gently, I'm grabbing it kind of by the back end of this. And then just pull it out. Just pull it straight out. Throw this piece of shit in the garbage. Alright. And I'm not going to fucking build it in there. But 
here. You can plug it in any which way. It's it's just a straight through. It's just a straight through connector. Plug it in like this, and it'll work no matter if I used that piece of shit, this fucking piece of shit, or if I did this to try to extend it. I wish these things were a little longer. I don't see why they gave us an extension, Cooler Master, but it's only like a two inch extension. It's, it's dumb as shit. Also, it's powered by Molex for some reason. This this connector really needs to be dropped. There's no point for it. SATA is smaller. It supplies the same voltage. I There is literally no point to have this except backwards compatibility, except nobody is putting an RGB cooler in a fucking old school machine that needs the backwards compatibility anyways. So why why waste the cable management space that we don't have that a lot of cases don't have nowadays on us needing to put in another connector or a fucking SATA to Molex adapter so this, this is another pain in the ass but this is more so about newer machines so now let's take this out because now we're doing Molex find the Molex female plug the piece of shit in Plug this fucking thing in. Come on. You don't you don't really need to worry about shorting these things because the way the pin out goes is 12 volt. Um, let me grab let me grab a fucking pen or fuck it I'll just scratch into this fucking thing. God damn it. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be so awkward to zoom in on this shit. Okay, but it fucking works. Things glow. Things glow. Here, here's another piss off. Cooler mat, not cooler master. Uh, fucking the guys at Micro Center. The guys at Micro Center, and this shows up as super purple, but in real life, it's like a, it's like a, a bluish white. Whatever. Micro Center. The guys at Micro Center and um, and the fucking reps at um, at Cable Mod, because I, I was asking them, hey, this is a fucking UV light. D did you put all the safety shit in here? Like, is this shit safe? They're like, oh yeah, it's completely safe. Um, I'm calling bullshit on that. This shit hurts my eyes. Like, just not not even directly looking at it. Just like looking at the shit it's reflecting. It hurts my eyes after like five minutes. So the fact that I have this controller here now is fucking awesome. Uh, and yeah, looking this up, these things are so fucking new. There's no concrete answers whether whether these are bad. And yeah, the strip itself kind of glows too, which which is neat. Uh, PCBs glow. It's 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 super neat. So there's that. But what I was getting at is the pinout goes um, 12 volts, uh, negative, negative, so 12 volts ground, ground, and then 12 volts. Meaning it's meaning it's a reversible cable. So it doesn't matter which way you plug it in, unlike most other cables. But now, actually it would be better if I turn off the lights again. The video basically ended at 4 minutes, so you, you guys can go piss off now. This is just me ranting. God damn it. Did I put it upside down? Yes, I did. You have lighting effects now. This breathing mode is kind of nice. It sucks that Cooler Master didn't, like, give you an option to lower the brightness. But the top, top button, you can cycle through the modes. That already hurts my fucking eyes. The middle button... If you double, if if you hold it, it goes to solid, and then the bottom button you can choose your brightness. This is the standard stuff that's in the instruction manual of the, of the Cooler Master uh, cooler. There we go. So it's a triple click on the middle button to turn it off, and then uh, that's it. That's fucking it. So now I just need to go through the cable management nightmare of putting this fucking thing in and putting this fucking thing in and here's another piss off about cables 
So I know you can. I know when you slice the fucking cables, like here. This is a five pin header. And this is a four pin, but you'll get my idea. Oh, I just turned it off. Got knocked out. That's another major downside. The connection is really weak over here because I don't think I don't think you were meant to do this, even though the pinouts completely match. But um, right over here, let's, actually, we don't even need this fucking thing on. Right over here, our solder pads. I mean, everybody knows how to use a razor blade. Just use a razor blade to take take this shit, this water resistant bullshit off. Whatever, whatever the fuck this this hot glue shit is on top, silicone. Um, take that shit off. But if if you look up on Google, like, hey, how the fuck do I solder the the connections so I can use the rest of my fucking where did I put the goddamn thing? Here we go. There's, there's nowhere you can look for that goes, hey, this is the best value, but if you're only using like 20 inches of this stuff, or a weird number like 35 inches, where you basically have to buy this. So in my case, I need about 35 inches for the look I want to go for. And, you want, and say you want to use the rest of it like around your desk, just right around your desk, just for some ambient light. That's also controllable through AuraSync. Why in the fuck... Is there no like instructions available anywhere on how to solder it? It is possible. It is possible. Again, the pads are exposed. The pads are completely exposed. You should be able to do it. But for whatever reason, like you, you should be able to do it. But for whatever reason, there's no documentation. And like we have these connectors. It's literally begging, begging you to break out a soldering iron and just go, okay, add some flux. Some pads, okay, we got we got a connector going out, and then just get some wires on this shit, and then do the thing, put it, would this even work on, off a of USB? Eh, you can probably get an adapter for this to USB, an adapter for this to USB, but yeah, basically just solder the, the fucking things on, so in this case, take a 5-pin version of this and solder it on, and then adapt it into USB if, if you want to use it externally, but, like, fucking what's it called, if we're going through the effort of this shit, then we can, we can go through the effort of fucking spending $15 in, at Harbor Freight for a fucking shitty soldering iron and doing this shit, so I, I don't know, I don't know, this, it just seems like a massive waste to only use 35 inches of this shit, and then the rest of it's fucking garbage, it, they, they don't give you the extra tools, to at least try the shit. I don't like I don't like wasteful fucking technology. Anyways, that's that's the end of the rant. Um, video, like I said, video ends at four minutes. But uh, I don't know why we're here now. Just to suffer. I'm gonna put my fucking tools away now. And I don't know, burn my eyes out some more. Bitch. Eh, might as, might as well show off the PCBs glowing. PCBs glow. The shit glows. The inside motor things, the fans glow. I, my power cables glow because I got cable mods. Uh, I forget. The mod flex, mod, mod mesh, whichever the fuck it is. It's, it's the less flexible ones. Mod mesh. Okay. Alright, that is it. That is it. For once I made a video that's not angry as hell. Uh, good night.